as you can see, getting real technical with microphones and stuff in the studio slash my room. <laughs> So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. So I've been making videos since about 2008, 2009-ish, around the time when I first started on YouTube on some channels that probably don't exist anymore. But back in the day, I used to make a ton of skits with my friends and by myself and just like random little funny stuff. But recently, I rediscovered a video that I had never finished. I filmed it, and I think it was my first vlog ever. It, it at least was the first one where I actually took the camera and pointed it at myself and talked into it. And you'll be able to tell really quickly because I wasn't very good at it. And some might say I'm still not very good at it. Some people meaning me. And when I discovered it, it was really cool because I thought it was gone. I knew it might have been out there because I remembered it. I remember actually that trip that I took very well. So you'll be able to tell it's one of my first vlogs because I'm not a very good storyteller and I don't give a lot of context into certain things that we're doing. So I am going to be popping in and out with voiceover to kind of give more context to what we are doing because I do remember the trip quite well. It was very fun and very memorable. So. Here it is, probably my first vlog. There goes the truck. So as you can see, I had a very low quality camera back then. It was actually my first digital camera that I ever had. And I still have it, in fact. And you'll also be able to tell that I didn't care about quality that much, because even with that low quality camera, I still liked to zoom in all the way and even lessen the quality more than it already was. <laughs> I don't know how to put them on, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Wiped out! <laughs> we made it! Hey Ken, what's up? I got it on camera. <laughs> And here we are. Ski Pole Mountain. And there's Ken. And I think others fell behind. <laughs> Still heading up the hill. Here they come. Here we are right under it. Ski Pole Mountain. Still got a little ways to go. This is Sean, and me and Steven just passed it. 
Yeah. We're supposed to go right under Ski Pole Mountain. And we passed it. <laughs> Bummer. Well, we finally found it. We walked probably a quarter of a mile past. And Steve is, Steven got us lost. Well, we're finally all here. Yeah. Not all of us. Yeah, almost all of us. <laughs> yeah, we're still missing Michael and Jesse. Go get it. Oh, sorry. This is the best view, right up here. Best view. This is what I'm having for dinner. Freeze dried. Hot water. Mmm. All right, so this requires a little bit more context. You see, this is where I'm gonna to sleep tonight. So typically every year, we make snow caves. We get taught throughout a couple weeks on how to make them and how to basically survive in this uh, winter wonderland, basically. But this year I found this group of small trees that were kind of making a little dome shape. And I made the opening a little wider and found this really compact snow underneath that was kind of in the shape of a bowl, kind of, and so I flattened it out a little bit and laid out my tarp and all my stuff, and it was actually fairly comfortable. I put my candles all around me and kept it pretty warm during, throughout the night, and it worked out well, so I, instead of making a cave, I just slept in there. Awesome. There's Ski Pole Mountain right up there. Yeah, you don't want to slip and fall. Ready. Ready. Ready? One, two, two. three. <laughs> Everybody, sit down with your feet in the snow. Okay. Lock arms. Okay. Make sure your pockets and cameras are locked oh. up in your your cameras are locked in your pockets. Okay, just a All right, so this requires some context. So, what we basically did was we basically sat down on the snow and locked arms and keep in mind we were on a very very steep slope at this point. You can't really tell in that short clip, but basically sat down and all slid down on our butts down this hill. We were going extremely fast, it was very very fun and I wish I had the bravery to hold my camera while we were doing it because it was very fun. We were like, some kids were unlocking their arms and <laughs> rolling down by themselves. It was very fun. Well, it's morning and Seems like everybody's awake. And I got morning guests.
Little can of robbers. So how was your sleep, Ethan? Warm. You have stocking glove on. I stocking You're stocking out. Where's that pull on Where do we, how many, how many percent goes out the top of your head? Seven, five. 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 I got all my stuff almost cleared out. Here we are getting all our snowshoes and backpacks on. It's starting to snow very lightly. And just about ready to leave. We're going to go up and around instead of straight up that hill. Still on our way back. Just waiting for you all to catch up. Some guys still down there. Can you want to go up there? No, I just. Alright, we're here now, and just up there is the road where we're going to wait for the van, and Ken's up there waiting, and we're just taking a breather, enjoying the view. Yahoo! Here we are, we're all finished. And over here is the other guy. So, this was the last little video that I took looking out at the Olympic National Park, one of my favorites. And hopefully you enjoyed uh, going down this very nostalgic journey with me. I'm really glad that I found this footage and really glad that I got to finish it. So if you enjoyed, you can subscribe or leave a like and a comment. That'd be much appreciated. And have a great day, guys.